Saturday, super happy to be back this week and today is exciting because it's the start of a new series that I'm going to be doing where I cover everything that I purchased, was gifted, enjoyed, loved, or was just like obsessed with in the past month. It's kind of just like a May favorites video today so I'm really excited. I have a lot of really cool things to share with you. It was a good month so let's just get right into it. So May starts with the Star Wars holiday, of course, May the 4th, and everybody who loves Star Wars knows that it is a tough day on the wallet, to say the least. So let me show you what I got from the May the 4th sales and new products launch. I got the Starbucks mugs. I have Tatooine which the coloring on the Tatooine is probably, well, not probably, definitely 100% my favorite. So I got Tatooine and I got Batu, which I just love because Chewie is right here, <laughs> to be honest. That's my favorite part. And I love the Batu mug. I don't really understand why it's blue. I wish it was more of an earthy tone um, because Endor, which is awesome, is also an earthy tone so I would have loved for this to be more of like a yellow or something but that's probably just because it would have matched my apartment better the blue is really pretty but I don't know I just blue is not my favorite almost broke it but yeah I got these mugs there these were the only three I believe right now but I hope they come out with more because I would absolutely love to see one for Naboo and Cloud City and they stack perfectly they match the rest of the bin there series from Starbucks and they're adorable and I'm pretty sure they're still in all the parks like you can still buy them I snagged all three because I thought they were going to sell out you never really know how things are gonna go but these I think will be available for quite a while also, on May 4th, I thought it would be really fun to get a mystery key. I had my high hopes that I would get the Chewbacca one. These are all the different ones that they were offering this year. And you see there's one that's like a mystery. This black one down here. That's the mystery key. So I can show you what I got. I was actually really happy I got the mystery key. And it's an Ewok key, which I think is just adorable like I was not disappointed but of course I want the Chewbacca one and I went back to try and buy a second box to try for Chewy and they were all gone so if anyone knows where I could find these let me know because I would still really like to have the Chewbacca ones I'm not really sure what the purpose is other than to just be like cute and I would love to start collecting these I think they're so fun um, but this is the first one I ever got so love that <laughs> I also got the Darth Vader ears that Ashley Eckstein designed and I don't have them I actually ended up getting three pair um, I got one for my best friend's birthday thinking that she'd have them in time but still absolutely no word on when they're going to ship it did say that they would ship in July but it also said that they would be available in the parks at the end of May and I know that they weren't and I was thinking maybe they would ship in June like the happy middle between July and like May we'll see if at the latest we'll have them by July but this is what they look like and they are stunning and incredible and I cannot wait to get those <laughs> What else did I get for May 4th? I got something, I got a necklace and also a pair of biker shorts and I'll show you those. Here are the biker shorts, these are from Her Universe. Yes, I am a brand ambassador for Her Universe but they don't send me everything that they have so I do still shop there, I love it. Just love them, so these are so adorable. I actually wore these on May 4th, um, but they were part of their May 4th Ahsoka launch they are sheer perfection i love these they're so comfortable um so i highly recommend everything that i can link i will link just so you know <laughs> and i got these in a size small i think i could have made an extra small work though um this is more just like lounge around the house type short if i wanted to work out in them i would probably want an extra small but they're more of a softer fabric and i do think sweat would show so I would consider these more loungewear, if you ask me. This last thing um, from May 4th, 
I did buy on May 4th, but it actually didn't get to me until this week. So this is the necklace that I got from Joe and Co. I love it. They have a whole Star Wars line and lots of other super simple Disney, Star Wars, Harry Potter jewelry. Um, I highly, highly recommend. It feels so high quality. And it came on this. Look how beautiful. And the necklace was just kind of just draped over them like this in its packaging. And it was stunning and it made me so happy. So if you are looking for Star Wars jewelry, definitely check out Joe & Co. Okay, I think that about wraps up my May 4th purchases. But I did also buy something else Star Wars related this month and that was this phone case. It's from, I think, Wonder of a Kind was the company and it's a Clone Wars phone case. It comes up and like bumps up a little bit over the sides to protect your phone if you're clumsy and drop it like I do. And I love that about this phone case and I will definitely get more from them. But this one is so special. It was from Wonder of a Kind so I will link them below but so adorable, right? Something else that I was gifted that I was so happy to receive. Magical snail stickers! So if you guys don't follow Magical Lifestyle on Instagram, I, I don't know who doesn't follow her, but please go follow her and also follow at shop magic gloss. She sent me these nail stickers and I did the most beautiful manicure at home with these nail stickers. And they are just stunning. I've used some of them so it looks a little bit crooked and stuff, but here are the teacups, the Disney snacks, the balloons, the Tangled pack, the Toy Story pack, the Mulan pack. And she has other designs coming out this month. Some of these are going out of stock very soon, so definitely go check Magic Gloss out. I uh, made a TikTok showing how I used them, but basically um, what I didn't share my TikTok actually. So I grew out my nails to do the manicure and then I broke two of them on a car door and then another one just decided to break on top of that. So I didn't want to go into a salon because I'm allergic to fragrance and it's just really hard to find a place that um, has products that are safe for me so I still wanted to paint my own and my sister actually told me about these the impress press on manicure so basically you don't use nail glue or anything everything you need is right in here it's a peel off sticker and you just put it on your nail and then there I chose this pack and I used all the white pieces and I painted a few with this Sally Hansen miracle gel polish um, I used these two colors. It's called Tutu the Ballet and Ozone. You didn't. And I loved these colors so much. They were stunning together, especially and especially with the Magic Gloss stickers. So I was very excited about how the manicure turned out. And I highly recommend the stickers stayed on. There wasn't any issue with the stickers. The nails came off before the stickers were even close to coming off. The nails lasted me probably they were on for like six days before one of them fell off but my hair was starting to get caught on like the outer edges so that was kind of annoying um, but it was my first time applying them and I'm definitely gonna try them again for my next trip because I have so many stickers left so I'm gonna continue to do fun manicures with them and once my nails like grow out again I'll just paint my nails normally and use them like that Oh, okay, and I've got two new pair of ears this month. The first one is my monthly pair of ears from Mouse Goals, and I just think these are so cute. I, they're perfect for summer. They got me feeling a little summer vibes, and I've got a really cute outfit planned for these to wear in the parks next weekend and get some really cute content for them. So I'm really, really excited about these. They are available in her shop. My code with Mouse Goals is MEG15, and also I bought these at Disney. Finally. Finally, these pastel ears that have been going around, I found them at Pop Century Resort. So, highly recommend. These ears are so beautiful. Um, I'm hoping to pair them with, I don't know if you can see this like tiny shirt I've got over here, but hopefully that will be a Magic Kingdom outfit I wear next week too. And while we're on the topic of accessories, I will show you 
this Dumbo bag, which I did uh, in collaboration with Fairy Nico. It's literally stunning. I'm not a huge Dumbo fan, but this bag makes me wish I was. And then on the inside, there's this really cute pattern too. You need this if you're a Dumbo fan. The color scheme is just stunning. And next for accessories, I've got some in my hair right now. I have been, if you have been watching my TikToks, these are in my hair. 24 7 I don't know I think they're for children but they're so cute I'm obsessed with the way that my hair looks with these little clips I have three in right now let me um, show you a little bit closer and I love them so much um, I have a color pack of the stars so there's also pink purple and blue I just keep them in this clear thing um, and along with that just like the clips have been my thing in the past couple of weeks especially um, so I just have some smaller ones and then a few bigger ones but these were an accident but I do like these when I want to do like pigtails when I use things like this on my hair it pulls out like half of my hair when I'm done at the end of the day so I've been trying clips to save some of my hair and I've been loving it last but not least these sunglasses are so in right now which makes me so happy because I had heart shaped sunglasses in high school that I was obsessed with. I don't know why, I just think they're precious. I'll link these below, they were just from Amazon. Amazon has so many heart shaped glasses. Um, I liked that these were more rounded instead of having that like pointed outside that's popular right now. Um, I liked the round look. Um, Duffy gets a bark box every month so I might be sharing that with you every month but we recorded him getting it which I'll show you here. Oh, oh wow. I hope nothing in there was breakable. Where are you going? <laughs> you need help? Be patient. Oh, Wait, what is it? Bed. Breakfast in bed? <gasps> that oh, is so cute! <laughs> what you got there? <laughs> you got some snacks. Oh, oh, you got a big egg. That is cute. Look at all these treats. Wow. You relax, though. Now sit. 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 <laughs> sit. Spin. Spin. Good boy, Dad. Five. High five. <gasps> Leave it. Okay. Good boy. Good breakfast in bed. You see, he just absolutely, he's just so stoked about it. But the theme this month was breakfast and I think this is one of the cutest things so I had to show you. This one you guys have seen already a billion times I feel like, but just one last time. I will talk about these shorts from Target because I have them in four colors and I swear each different color, they all fit the same, but the color payout and everything really changes each pair of shorts. So I would wear these all in completely different ways, but yes, I have four colors. Super, super nice to have shorts that you love and in so many colors. Last up is makeup and I'm so excited I get to talk about makeup because with my allergy I really don't get to talk about makeup that often um, but this month I kind of made it two things happened I ran out of concealer and found out that Bare Minerals was no longer selling the concealer that I've been using since I found out my allergy and the one that they replaced it with I am allergic to which sucks so I had to find a new concealer so I went into the store and I saw the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I got the color Light Sand and it was a perfect color for me. The thing about this concealer, I did like it and that's why I still have it, like I didn't get rid of it or give it to somebody else. It's a great concealer, it's just really thick for me. I don't know, I just like lighter, more dewy formulas than like really cakey things but this is really good for if you have like a fancy event. So I'm happy to have discovered that I do have a concealer that I can buy in stores that I don't hate and I'm not, I'm not allergic to. But you guys know I love Thrive Cosmetics and they finally came out with a concealer. So I bought it immediately 
and this is by far the best concealer I've ever used even better than the bare minerals one and I'm not surprised and my skin has been fine no reacting at all this is called buildable blur HD creaseless concealer and it looks like this which is so stunning and cute matches their signature teal color and I got the color fair warm I have it on right now under my eyes and that's really all I have like coverage wise on my face is this concealer and it's pretty right it's dewy and yeah it actually when I put it on it feels amazing on my skin too like it feels like I would just put a serum on my face not makeup which is nice <laughs> the last thing that I have to share makeup wise are these little elf sheer slick I have three different colors they have really good color payoff for what the formula is and they're only five dollars which is awesome they stain a little bit too and I've always loved a lip stain I know some people hate that but I love it they were really nice to wear at Disney under my mask because even if the mask rubbed it off my lips were stained a little bit it's almost like if you eat a popsicle it like stains your lips these do that for me at least um, and it's the first e.l.f. product I've ever used and really, really liked. So $5 each. They have a wide color range. They have so many other colors I want to try. And it's not too drying of a formula or anything like that. So definitely recommend this if you are allergic to beeswax or fragrance like I am. These are actually safe for you, which is so exciting. The last things I want to share are just kind of like more fun things that I was super excited to buy this month. And a lot of them are in the guest room. And one other thing is like a big piece of furniture that I can't wait to show. One of those things is this huge mirror, which really just makes this room so nice. And these shelves from Amazon that I absolutely love. I just needed something to display some of my more Disney type things like I've been telling you guys while I'm at the shelf. I read this Ahsoka book in the month of May and it was spectacular by E.K. Johnson just called Ahsoka. I highly, highly recommend reading that if you love Ahsoka. But my clothing rack came finally and it's so cute. It was really cheap too so I'll link that. It was really easy to put together. I actually did it myself. I got like very aesthetic looking hangers at Home Goods. And um, I just have to share this set from Shein, I think is what it's called. I was totally shocked by how much I loved this set. The very last thing that I want to show you is our new bar cart. Look how pretty it is. I believe this is from West Elm. Um, I'll link it if it's still for sale. And I got this at Galaxy's Edge in May as well. I think it's a toy, but I use it as decoration because it's so cute and I use it to show Chewie and Leia mostly. But this is how we decorate our bar cart. I got these copper mugs at Target because we love Moscow mules. And here it is. Vinny's a little bit of a collector, so we've got quite a collection. Along with all of these fabulous like items, like tangible items, I will say we have been absolutely obsessing over watching miraculous ladybug it's so silly and cute i know it's a kids show but we're loving it and we're loving bad batch as well and we finally finished falcon and the winter soldier and loved that ending too so it's a good month thank you guys so much for watching this video that was everything that i loved in the month of may i hope you see something that you might be interested in or that you might be loving soon in the month of june i can't wait to see what i find this month and can't wait to share with you i will be back with another video next weekend and i look forward to seeing you guys then have an amazing week ahead and see you next time bye <laughs>